Hello, all you healthy blood pressure warriors. My name is David Fry, and I want to welcome you to the HealthyBloodPressure.com channel. High blood pressure is a fairly common health condition. It often doesn't cause any symptoms, but when blood pressure is extremely high, it can cause symptoms. Some of these include nosebleed, chest pain, confusion, tiredness, and difficulty breathing. Most of these symptoms appear too late and then untreated hypertension can turn into severe illnesses. Such illnesses include heart failure and stroke and kidney disease. So it's beneficial for doctors and patients to watch out for early signs of hypertension. And now researchers are evaluating whether hair loss can be one such early sign of high blood pressure. So let's look at the link between hair loss and high blood pressure and then we'll talk about some studies that discuss this link and finally we'll look into a few things you can do to restore your hair loss so first how is blood pressure linked to hair loss your hair follicles are responsible for the steady growth of your hair a follicle is a small tunnel like structure present just below the skin of your scalp this is part of the root of your hair your follicles must be strong and healthy for hair to grow long and thick. And for that, these follicles need a constant supply of nutrients. And these nutrients reach them through proper blood circulation. And this is one of the reasons massagers focus on your scalp for stimulating hair growth. But massaging may not help if blood flow to the follicles itself is not enough. And this is where your blood pressure could play a major role. High blood pressure constricts blood vessels throughout the body and resists blood flow. And this causes your hair follicles to shrink over time. Some of them may even die out due to a lack of proper nutrients. And this causes hair to fall out. And this is how high blood pressure causes hair loss. So let's look at what the research says. In 2007, a group of scientists in France studied the link between alopecia and hypertension. Alopecia is a condition that causes your hair to fall out. Alopecia can occur in both men and women. And in this condition, hair loss typically occurs at the top of the head. 250 Caucasian men between the ages of 35 and 65 years participated in this study. Statistical analysis revealed a close link between alopecia in these men and high blood pressure. This link existed irrespective of the age of the participants. In 2018, a team of Japanese scientists performed a meta-analysis. This analysis studied the link between alopecia and heart disease. It included nine studies of a total of 44,806 participants. They saw a significant increase in the risk of heart disease in men with baldness. In 2021, another team from the University of Missouri in the United States conducted a small study. And in this study, 43 women with scarring hair loss participated. They also included a control group of women with no hair loss. The results showed that hypertension was strongly linked to alopecia in women. So do blood pressure meds cause hair loss? Well, high blood pressure may cause hair loss, but what about the drugs that you're taking to treat high blood pressure? Well, some of these drugs may also cause hair loss. This is especially true for drugs in the beta blocker and ACE inhibitor categories. But hair loss is just a side effect. It's not a big concern because it mostly resolves itself with time. These drugs don't kill the hair follicles, they just cause them to be inactive for a while. And then the hair starts growing back again for most people. If it doesn't, you could talk to your doctor about switching medications. But don't stop taking your meds just because... Let's talk about how you deal with this hair loss. If your hair loss is caused by high blood pressure, the best way to deal with it is to manage your blood pressure. If your hair roots are otherwise healthy, your hair should grow back, or at least 
your hair should stop falling out. On the other hand, if your hair loss is due to blood pressure meds, talk to your doctor about changing them. You could also wait and see if it resolves itself on its own. In either case, if your hair loss doesn't stop, there might be another issue. Get some blood work done to check your hormones. Irregular levels of cortisol and thyroid hormones could also cause hair loss. Some nutrient deficiencies such as iron can also be a cause. And supplementing with the right dose might help reduce the loss of hair. If you still experience hair loss, you could visit a hair specialist. They may offer some non-surgical options such as meds to stop hair loss. And one such drug is minoxidil, which is also a blood pressure lowering drug. And lastly, you could always go for hair transplantation by an expert surgeon. In summary, hair loss can be an early warning of high blood pressure. And it's a good idea to check your blood pressure at the first signs of hair loss. Several studies have linked blood pressure and heart disease with baldness. So getting your blood pressure under control is important. Some blood pressure lowering drugs could also cause hair loss. But always talk to your doctor before switching or stopping your meds. Hi there. If you suffer from high blood pressure like I do, and you want to receive my educational videos about how to lower your blood pressure, I'd like to ask you to do three simple things right now. Number one, click the subscribe button right there. And then number two, click on the bell icon right down there so that I can notify you the moment I release a new video. And number three, watch another one of my more popular healthy blood pressure videos right over there. Okay, thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.